All right, greetings YouTube neighbors. So I had some people comment about my deer stand, so I thought I'd do a video about it. It's from Deer Stands Direct. It's out of central Minnesota. It's actually largely made by Amish people, and uh, they'll sell them all over. They'll ship them everywhere. This one is the six by six box with an eight foot stand. Um, today, you know, in Minnesota, it's a snowy April, middle April day. So what a better day to get on the tractor and spend some time in a cab. But I was driving by and I thought I should do something about the video. So it's really two pieces, the, the eight foot stand um, and then the actual box itself. And then the box just sits on it. It's kind of a perfect fit. And then you put these big old bolts into it to keep it down. This thing has survived, I think about a 40 to 50 mile an hour wind. So it's, it's pretty good. I've had trees topple on the property and this remained like it is. Um, when I set it down, I did till the ground here, uh, leveled it out, then put in these T posts to kind of wedge it in place, um, put a level on it to get it. It's not perfectly level, but it's good enough. So a human isn't going to notice it. And yeah, that's, that's what I've done. I did ask for a hand railing. Um, this is mainly because at the time I had a 40 year old that I was going to bring hunting with me. Now he's six and, uh, I just wanted to make sure we had an easier way to get into it. So that's kind of the outside. It's built out of uh, house siding. It's actually, I believe it comes, the siding itself, I think is a lifetime warranty, not for this product. Um, they don't really like the application for it, but it's been holding up really good. The stand has been sitting here two years and uh, just, just kind of giving it a general once over. It shows no sign of aging. The wood is doing fine on the bottom. It's not terribly wet here. It does get a little bit, but uh, no sign of rotting or all. Um, yeah, so it's it's pretty sturdy. I am definitely a guy who uh, doesn't appreciate heights, and so that that's just kind of nice uh, how sturdy it is. You don't. It's a uh, just a traditional door handle. You just open it up. And uh, one thing you'll notice, mine's a little tight, is because I put insulation foam in here. Um, it's not uncommon for me to be hunting when it's approximately negative 10 out. So uh, that extra insulation does make a big difference. Also for deer smell, it can make a big difference. Sorry if there's a big echo in here. It's uh, obviously the audio isn't meant for this. So it's a couple things. There's no shelving in here. So what I did is I just made a couple boxes that we can keep um, some things in here. It's always good when you're bringing kids to bring a snack and that way, you know, they can be happy. Um, so that, that stuff all there is insulation that I did by choice. You don't have to do anything about that. I also put a breathing vent in there because I generally have a buddy heater sitting right there. Um, so yeah, that, uh, and then this little stand so the young man can kind of see outside at the same time, be in a good safe spot, uh, to give me room, depending on if you're, uh, you know, crossbow or bow hunting, there is enough room up here. The The window clarity is actually really, really good. I have no complaints. There is a tiny gap. So you'll notice that there's this dark line. What that actually is, is I put tape on it. So it'll seal off the, uh, the stand a little better. Um, you know, depending on the wind here, I can open up the one window and it's not gonna make a difference for deer winding me. Uh, but again, for heat, that helps that just covering up all these gaps so the heat doesn't escape. Then obviously I get the benefit of, you know, smell that can't wind me as easy either. So one big difference uh, in a stand like this, especially comparable to the redneck, because that's kind of what I was looking at, um, is these windows are a two piece window. So if you have to aim really low, you have two windows you got to open. And so there's kind of a rough example. They're not actually attached. Um, I wish this was a little different. A guy could modify this to make it a little better. Um, so that way, if you pull the bottom window, the top window will automatically come with it. Um, I'm a crossbow hunter. And so I can get away with just opening the top window and then it's not a problem. And then here you get to see the Luke mistake. So about two years ago, there was, uh, I was actually getting ready to close out my deer season. I wasn't sure I was going to get one. Doe came up and I thought, well, she looks like a mature doe. I was going to shoot her. Um, then a buck came running up. Nice 10 pointer. So I just got stupid lucky and got a little excited. I didn't open the window all the way. And when I fired the limbs, obviously quickly moved out 
smashing this window. I wasn't even sure exactly what happened because um, there was just an explosion by my face. Nobody got hurt. Um, deer tipped over in 40 yards and I destroyed one of my windows. My wife was kind enough to go find all the pieces and kind of tape it back up. I was going to replace it last year, but I just kind of noticed that it, it really didn't affect my visibility. So um, it wasn't high on my list of things to do. So yeah, I keep a trash can in here along with a couple propane tanks um, for, you know, scent control. These things are awesome. Um, me and my son will regularly come out of here, come out here with basically no scent control and uh, they, they cannot wind you. It just, if you come out early enough where there's enough moving air, they're not going to pick you up. Um, I've had them right underneath the stand, actually in the box itself, just checking things out and they don't smell anything. Now, the, the floor is just a hardwood floor with a carpet. That's maybe one of the spots you could improve is uh, just buy a foam, big thick foam floor. That way if you step on it, you drop something, whatever deadens the sound. Um, I have had them hear me through this thing for you know, different reasons. Uh, my son dropped something or whatever. Um, but even again, they can't figure out where it came from. So generally they don't spook out of the field. This is approximately, I'd say a half acre deer plot. Um, always been really successful here. So uh, I, I set this up so it can be a rifle or a bow stand. I can almost shoot corner to corner on the whole plot. Uh, the far corners would be tough with a bow, but with a rifle, it'd, it'd be a cakewalk. So yeah, I just wanted to show that. I did put a little mount up here, and so that's generally where I keep my uh, my crossbow and I'm not holding it in my hand. And then I added this little box for my son, so he's got a place to keep his uh, drinks, um, whatever else he wants to do, his books. Um, I will admit I do cheat to keep him entertained, and I use a, a video game system. So he gets a timer on it. And, you know, the key is to make sure the kid's enjoying it too. You know, I remember kind of going out in adventures and just freezing my bacon off and uh, being bored. And he doesn't mind freezing, but he does mind being bored. And I try to keep him not as bored as I can. And then when deer come into the field, we you know, stop and we'll watch them. So uh, just, just throwing this out there. Yeah, deer stands direct. Go check them out. I do recommend it. I found at the time that I was looking, they're about a thousand bucks cheaper than a redneck uh, stand and really I probably put I mean most of this lumber scrap from other projects and then the installation probably cost me 10 bucks to do um, so I got no complaints this model is insulated I know it might sound contradictory to my current situation but I don't think I would recommend an insulated stand uh, mainly because in that early hunt season when it can get to 70 degrees in a day this thing becomes a sauna and you get to lose weight free of charge it's not always really nice and then you have to have a window open otherwise you're gonna get cooked out so something to think about um, I wouldn't say I overly regret getting insulated. I just I just wouldn't do it again. Um, the buddy heater usually kicks out enough. As long as you can seal up the air gaps, I don't think the, the regular siding is going to allow too much heat to escape in the winter. So if you have any other questions, comments, thoughts, uh, deer stands you've tried, you want to put something down. I did have another one on the other side of the property that's like a, a kind of a plasticky one. It's just a cheap, I think, Menards brand. It's not terribly nice. It doesn't keep even the rain out. I mean, I come out here in thunderstorms and it's it's dry. I mean, there's just no issue. Um, it works really great. So yeah, go check it out. Um, and hey, if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. I'm uh, I got to hit that thousand benchmark in order to get monetized on YouTube. Fun fact: I have the watch time. I don't have the subscribers. So if you can help me out, and uh, that would really prompt me to make more regular videos, which honestly, I'm really enjoying. So thanks a lot for watching. Uh, until next time, I'll see you then.